ever wondered what the top esters are? What's the best ester to use for testosterone replacement therapy? There are many different esters available, everything from testosterone cypionate, testosterone nanthate, testosterone decanoate, and a blend of esters uh, that make up sustenon, which is a combination of testosterone propionate, some medium acting esters and longer lasting esters. What are the best esters? Is there a best ester to use when you're on TRT? We have the fast acting esters, which is the propionate, but actually there's also the water-based that's rarely used. The suspension has no ester and actually has 24 hours half-life. For the water-based, but that's, water not, that's not really commonly available at pharmacies and no one no. uses it for TRT. It resembles a cream, so it comes off the system on a daily basis. Let's talk about the testosterone propionate. Uh, okay, a little bit yes. longer. So, so every 48 hours or three times a week. Okay. And uh, then we have... And which dose? Which dose of, of the testosterone propionate? Which? So there's different doses you can use. So in, the, in Europe and in the UK, we have available uh, testosterone propionate that comes in 25 milligrams per mm -hmm. 1 ml in, in a, in a single-use ampule. Yeah, I would say if you use 25 milligrams, you're going to use it every other day. So 100 per week, let's say, every other day. Between 75 and 100 per week and every yeah, other day. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we have the enanthate, which is actually the propionate releases 80% of the ester, the enanthate 70%, 71%, and the spionate 68%. So the half-life of the propionate is around two to three days. One of the things, just before going to the enanthate, about the testosterone propionate that we found very interesting is uh, in some patients who have used testosterone propionate at 25 milligrams uh, every other day, uh, they're seeing really no no spike. normalized hematocrit and hemoglobin. Yeah, I just want to say now the half life of the ester was, uh, has to do with the microdose. So the only appropriate for microdosing actually is the cream and the propionate. Because okay, it's, you cannot microdose anathetic or propionate properly because they have five and seven days respectively. Half life. So before you clean the system, you're injecting another one, so they accumulate. So all the propionate is ideal for microdosing, strictly speaking, because as clear the system, then they inject the next dose.